I noticed when working in the organization is that whenever someone says as a leader, I want to build a family culture, we are like a family, that's a warning sign for me. Because that's one kind of leader that wants to be liked, that wants everyone to be happy. And actually, as a matter of fact, I coach an individual, a leader at a time when, when one of his goals was, I want everyone to be happy. Well, let me tell you what. Like, surprise, surprise, if you're a leader, you're not going to make people happy. That's not your job to make people happy. And in a family setup, what's the, the dynamic? The dynamic is that someone breaks the rules, uh, they have a bad habit, they are into maybe overeating or drinking or smoking. And what, do, what does family do? On one side, they kind of criticize the person, they bring that in discussions, but at the same time, they say they, they are doing a pity party for them. Oh, yeah, everybody drinks, so it's okay. And, and so they don't really challenge each other because they know they also have some shortcomings and then it will not be long until this person is going to challenge them on that too. So you don't want to build a family culture. You want to build a team sports culture. When you enter your workplace, it's like you enter the locker room of a sports team. Like everyone... It's positive, it's pumped up about the work, and they're busy, you know, working out and being in the best shape they can be. They challenge each other, they rely on each other to win. When you want to win the competition in your marketplace, you don't want your family on your side. You want a sports team, a team of professionals on your side. So if you think you want to build a family culture at your workplace, you might want to rethink that. Because a family culture is not a performance-driven culture. It's a complacent-driven culture. People are complacent. They're kind with each other. They might not even like each other, but let's say they like each other. They don't challenge each other. So I challenge you to rethink that. The best thing you could build is a sports team culture. You should see your team as a sports team, not as a family.